What's up, guys? All right, I want to show you something. <clears throat> I got Gothic here. I'm coming back into Pluto where we've been leveling in this last video. And you see the Gil Rising Phoenix or Phoenix Rising? That's the one I I had reinstated that I had before, but it's going to be the the Channel Gil. So what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to invite uh, Stank Eye to it, and I'm going to transfer the Gil ship to him. Looks like Wolf camped out for the moment. <clears throat> okay. Let me switch over to him, Inner World. Get back over to Gothic. Yeah, I want to do a video on this. See down at the bottom of the screen how the, they pop up? And if you move your pointer, you can go into different things. Well, well, it's not doing it like that. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Here we go. All right, where'd he go? There he is. Stank eye. All right. Let's open the gill window up. All right, I'm going to invite Stank. Accept. He is now a member of Phoenix Rising. And I am going to promote him to leader. Now, I'm an officer, and he's the guild leader. Anybody who wants to join this guild, if you see my intro videos or or any of my videos and you, you come into the game with a new guy and you want to or just want to make an alt and join the guild if you have current guys that, that's fine just make you an alt look up anyone that'll be on in phoenix rising which is not a lot of us right now but i'm going to be adding more anyone will have the officer tag and be able to invite you to the guild and once you're in the guild it might not be instant as soon as i log on i will promote everybody to officers so that you can invite your alts or other people in turn and, you know no matter what time of the day middle of the night they log on whatever your time zone is you'll always have a the ability to to invite new guys to the guild i mean you stay as long as you want it's a social deal it's a stepping stone or if you just want to be in it for the channel that's fine i'd love to have you and we can get it going and get enough people into it with knowledge of the game who know raids or uh, just instances or zones and want to get group started that's great too but it's a starter level guild I don't expect any raids anytime soon you know <clears throat> but put this back up here but yeah Phoenix Rising if you're interested in joining it for the channel that would be awesome. But I'm going to pause this right here. Uh, Camp Gothic out and start doing a little bit of leveling on Stank. Try to get him caught up to Wolf and just get him to 15, really. Wolf should be back here soon and he'll probably join me again. And till then, well, we're fixing to get to some leveling. Alright, back in Pluto. Doing a little damage. gray one <laughs> all right <clears throat> get up here working that one hand uh or hand to hand again with my little fist i gotta get it up to 60 then swap over to my one hand blunt which um while I was out, I picked up a cheap journeyman's walking stick, 24-9, and it even has Tashani. So at 35, I can actually debuff the mob, swap weapons, and then, you know, do my thing. So that's pretty good to have. 
just as a debuff proc. And Beast Lords proc like mad when they proc. So it shouldn't be no problem getting that thing to go off. Catch up the wolf. I know he's at least 11. Well, my goal was to make 15, but th this is going to be the second video of the day. The first one will air, and then it'll probably be a day before this one airs. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, if, if y'all are interested in the guild, you know, please look somebody up, me, anybody in the game at the time, and for an invite. You will be an officer. You will be able to invite others. And I'm probably going to make a short little video after this that just showcases the guild. And it'll come out way ahead of this video. So, I got to keep all my time frames <laughs> written down for what's coming out when and where. And I don't want to overpower y'all with... You know, the adventures that stank every freaking day. So I'm, I think I've been setting them up for every other day. And if it needs to go further than that, I'll wind it out. But keep ahead of the game a little bit. Have things scheduled in case for some reason I can't do something a day or so. You'll have some content coming out every day. Ooh, the Weeble Wobbles. All right, I'm going to move around now. These are starting to get too low. And these guys are still blue. That's good. I can get some food off of them. If I'm not mistaken, trolls have a higher metabolism, metabolism than other ones, or like ogres too. I know halflings have a high metabolism to, to reference their second breakfasts and stuff like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Had to get some fans going, blowing some cool air in here. This computer's getting this room too hot. It's just too cool outside for the AC and getting too warm in here for the heater. So I gotta crack a window and mix things up a bit. <laughs> oh, I used Gothic while I had her, and I blew my pet up a little bit. You know, he was a tiny gecko. Now he's like a little tiny crocodile. And with the glitches in the game on size reference, if you grow something or shrink something other than yourself, like a pet, they will never return to their original shape when you zone, camp, or anything. So if you grow it, it's it's stuck until you make another pet. If you shrink it, it's stuck until you make another pet. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never done quests linked to any of these drops in here. There's a, there's a lot of no drop stuff, but I don't know what it's for. I'm sure it's for the Vashar, since their like noob zone is you know linked to this one, back door to Paludal. But I've never researched the items to see what they were actually for. Should have sold this stuff out of my bags when I went to POK earlier. <clears throat> I'll save your head. Ooh, I'm getting beat down. <clears throat> I gotta start paying attention to my life now. I got a couple little low level buffs off that level 20 shaman, but that's it. No super buffs.
<coughs> muck diggers, muck diggers. Ladybugs or tails. Little flashlight. Whee! switch back to my normal there we go Interest. We're going to go around and go back up in there again. <clears throat> I always drop whatever spell I'm power leveling the skill on into my third slot so that I can just keep hitting the, hitting the three button instead of clicking it. Sit back, watch TV, and just keep pumping the three button. For adjuration, you want to use an endure spell over, say, your inner fire. Inner fire has a longer reset time, but you can cast endure, cold, or whatever your first level endure spell is almost instantly after you've cast it the first time. So you can repeatedly do that to get the skill up. I'm down to 35. Okay, I need to heal up and let my pet do something now. 1% heal. <laughs> yeah, Beast Lord's heals. It's good to have something, but they suck until you finally get Chloroblast later. And then that's only like 400 something points, but... But it definitely gets your alteration up. Yeah, same with anything on here, guys. Potions on this server. I made a mistake when I first had a style potion. It just would not work. But on here, you actually have to target yourself when you cast the uh, or click the potion. <clears throat> then it'll work. Need to get me a knotted, uh, knotted ring or whatever it is off the Gina for the extended buff duration on it.
what is hand to hand? Okay, it's on 60. So now I need to bump up. Well, everything needs to go up now. One hand blunt, especially. Sweat that out. Gotta maintain those weapon skills. Max each one out. Every level. You never know what weapon's gonna fall into your lap. And you wanna be efficient at it. our cave we're gonna go up in. Be getting to do the Pepo duties and watch my grandson here soon. Granddaughter six. I think she got her ear infection. She's got an appointment for the doctor at three. Poor baby. She's not feeling good. That's my pumpkin, my mini me. She's all about Papa. Like my job, you know, I, I'm a commission painter for models and tabletop games and stuff. And her favorite thing in the world is Marvel Universe. She's only five, but she knows everything about Spider-Man, all the Marvel characters. You name it, you show her a picture, she can tell you about it. And there's a game called Crisis Protocol that's out. And I bought that up and a lot of the figures to it and I paint all that up for our cabinet. So every time I finish one, we go online, find a new one. She picks it out. I buy it. We paint it. Once it's done, <laughs> put it in the cabinet and do it again. I still got a few things lined up though. I got to paint for it, including both of the scenic buildings and some 3D printed stuff we've ordered for it too. Some uh, characters that just aren't in the game yet so we had to find third party 3D versions of it <clears throat> 3D printed versions of it like Hobgoblins, Iceman her favorite thing is Spider-Man and his amazing friends Iceman, uh, Firestar and Spider-Man and I got a Juggernaut print from before they made an actual figure for it for Crisis Protocol we got uh, Scorpion. And what was the uh, Spider-Man multi-universe cartoon that had uh, Gwen and what was the other guy's name? The other kid's name. Well, the Prowler from that, that was his uncle. Yeah, I got that 3D printed version painted up. It looks awesome. She loves that one. I think I got all the photos on my Facebook page, but I even took the cap, you know, Captain Marvel from the starter set, got a second version of her, resculpted it, 
uh, added the hair and everything and gave her the green suit from the beginning of the Captain Marvel movie. So uh, we got two versions of her. We got about three versions of Spider of, of uh, Iron Man armor. Two or three versions of the Captain America armor, including his Secret Wars uh, outfit. Yeah, but that's mine and her deal. She is a huge Marvel fan. What am I? Oh, I had my pet target. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, once Stank gets up to about 20, the levels will start coming faster and we'll get into some better content. It's just, this is the path for some low levels. If you're just starting out, not you're new to the server, you know, don't have anything but what's been given to you or what you've gotten off Copper Mart. And I'm pretty sure you'll be having longer sessions too than what my videos are. I know when you come back the nostalgia is real so you'll be on here for hours at a time probably. So you'll be leveling more, faster or more than I am during these videos. Pause it right here, get a little bit further in, start it back up, so that it's not like a blow for blow, minute for minute. We're going to try to get to 15 in this video. I'll see you in just a bit. Alright, we dinged 12 just then. We're going to work our way down into this cave where the, uh, what do they call it? Fungal fiends are. There's some shrooms down in here, though, that need killing. <laughs> They're a lot safer than those fungal fiends, for now at least. There's a couple of these things that are KOS. Yep, like this one. A mature sensei Rishi or whatever. It's KOS. He's yellow too. Okay. I ding, so I won't keep doing the one hand blunt until I reach 65 real quick. Then start swapping to the others. Ooh, he's red. Hmm. I got a couple buffs, so let's see if we can take him. And I think we can handle him. Oh, 
जिंद गए different see this little one here now in this cave here like over here on the map there's this wind around spot uh, occasionally there is a giant one of these guys in here that's like a little named I remember seeing him back on live every now and then I think I've seen him once on here All right, now you see that fungal fiend? He's where he's got a club in his hand over there. It's actually not a bad club if I don't remember, but there's always one to the left here. You gotta watch out. Yep, there he is. He's a yellow fella. And I don't have any way of pulling yet. To 15, I, I, when I get my sick and I'm just face pulling, I don't have anything to throw. And both of them are yellow. Crap, Ola. I think I'm gonna go back this way. I don't want to risk it right now. We'll go up here in this other little area. Might have some repops back here by now, actually. Yeah, these are. Uh oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, let's go this way. <laughs> All right, hold on one guy, minute, guys. Killing some of these little guys down here that are yellow. <coughs> Uh -oh. A zero. I thought the temperance spell was not no drop. He's trying to help a cleric friend out. <clears throat> but yeah, the temperance spell is no drop. You have to be there to get it. Sorry, I had my mic up in there. <laughs> His friend was dying from uh, all the mobs up in there trying to get the temperance quest to drop earlier. But yeah, there's some. If you watch that video on, on getting your temperance spell, there's some good drops up in there gems and all that stuff. You can just, you know, farm. Plus, some item drops too. Belt of leathery funks. <clears throat> I'll sell it. But I, I, oh, I actually got a Black Panther skin belt off one of the copper sellers yesterday. <clears throat> so that's good. 
this is the area that me and uh, Wolf were uh, farming with our orig my original Beast Lord when I started the server and his Zerker. <laughs> Get some ads in here though real fast. So you gotta be careful. Back him up over here. I'm going to have to get me an eye patch of plunder at some point. I guess get everybody's help to get that. Get that 20% haste early on. Not to mention all the sweet stats on it. Stuff's food too. Yep, this is a meal, spongy. So we'll put that over here with our food. <clears throat> Trying to keep from aggroing both of these guys. See, there's one on the other side of these pylons here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Two hand blunt needs five more points and then I'll switch, I think, to see hand to hand. Um, yeah. And then you get five more points in that. I don't want to do too much twinking on this guy, <clears throat> so I at least want to be able to survive around Stormfeather and the Dire Wolf. Hey, ding -a -ling. Oh, look at there. Fungal Fiend Membrane Cape. 4 AC. I bet it's... Oh, I didn't even have a cape. So, there we go. Upgrade right there. Is there one? Yeah, there's one back here. Let me cure my... Disease. I always got to have cure disease up when you're fighting these guys. Talking about driving my 65. Well, kind of the point is, I don't want to do that. If you were starting here, you wouldn't have a 65 to drag around or help you with buffs and stuff. You, of course, go to POK and get some buffs, but you're not going to have that instant access or have a 65 to go pull stuff and kill it for you and all that, you know. Oh, legs, but are they better? Yeah, 5 AC, mine's better, though, I think. I got two agility on mine. <clears throat> okay, at least I can sell those. I needs to heal.
Plus, I need to get a haste out on period for him. So I'm going to have to save up some plat. Probably start farming something. I got to figure that out. Or maybe wait till I get to 20. And then uh, try to buy one of these haste items out of the bazaar. Every now and then, you can find a belt pretty cheap. A few hundred. <coughs> or maybe find something in a copper mark sale. Love to have Cal Immortality. <laughs> 36 Haste Helm. Custom Cal Immortality. That'd be better because it'd be the plate graphic for the old troll graphics. <laughs> I need to heal up a little bit. Let me sit here real quick. <clears throat> Let that spiritual light I have left on me do a little magic. I'll be back here shortly. We healed up now. Now, Tecker got a nice little charm to drop when he was over there in Dulac. I want it for my enchanter. Spearock or Sapphire Spearock Feather. I can't see anything right now, but it grants a bonus as you gain charisma. So that'll be nice. I want to put it on my enchanter. Go farm one for him. I think I heard a door shut. I'm going to have to pause for a minute. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back for now. Okay, let's see where we're at. Boo! Smack a bat. We're one yellow in the 13. Our goal for this video will be 15 new spells, a new pet. And this new pet will be able to equip and use slash proc those fist of ixablat so i'll put a couple of those on him see if i can't find me a maze to make a couple instead of paying five platter piece for them which i really don't have get a belt on him and a haste mask i got a few friends on the server if they're on it might help me points and I'll be maxing two hand blood and I gotta swap back to the other ones because they done jump five points now <laughs> I do hand to hand first because it's the lowest <clears throat> right now I'm still using this uh, twin delay five damage fist of wood
got me. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, star, rose quartz, and a fungal fiend membrane. <laughs> pull this guy right here without getting those other two, maybe. Back, back. Come on, little gator boy. Alright. Take the disease off my pet there. Ooh, okay, we got a rough stone axe, thirty four speed, six damage. There's puzzles doing a Burundi group. Be a nice one to get into with my druid. two over there. <laughs> hey, some boots. Fungal fiend membrane boots. Armor class four. What am I wearing? Oh, nothing at all. I have boots now. <clears throat> Look at there. Okay, let's see if we can't get this guy right here. Of course we can. Stop doing that. You felt the animal? sure if I'm going to have to get off here real soon. Thank you. 
Okay, well I'm at 70 now. I need to be on my, my fist up. Let me do some fist cuffs. <coughs> ah, some more boots. I ain't got much bag space. Gotta watch what I loot. Make sure it sells for something worth looting. Also, next level, our pet will have his lightning proc. So, top of the lightning proc, dual wielding those fists and proc in 150 blast, we'll be tearing stuff down a lot faster. Can have it follow through. Why are you not following through with that spell? I'm getting interrupted. I shouldn't be. There we go. <laughs> first the white <laughs> I'm about to lose that old pally buff I've had Braille's steadfast aegis less than two minutes Get rid of one of these before I lose it. Yeah, just wait till I get 15. I won't be diseasing you. There goes that buff. I think I'm going to finish it before I lose it. Yep, there we go. Da -da. <coughs> I'm going to pause it right here. I'll be back when I've gotten a little more ahead because we're already at 51 minutes and I want to try to make 15 before this video is up. I don't want to go over an hour. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, got tales from another new guy joined from the videos. <coughs> Stabbies. Saw my videos and joined the server. <laughs> I 
Tell him I just caught that on video. <clears throat> Alright, be right back as soon as I make 15. And then we're going to go get our spells. I'm not far off. Won't take that much longer. Alright guys, we are real close to 15. I think the next good kill should ding us. And then I'm going to pause and I'm going to get to P.O.K. and get all my new spells. Oh, for one thing, like on a Shaman or Beast Lord, when you get the spells sickened, you know, normally you'd have to go to that vendor out in the middle of Everfrost or in Inethul Swamp. But on here, if you go to the library, I believe you can get sickened down in the Necro area, the very basement of the, the library. Keep you from having to run away out there in the middle of nowhere looking for it. Good thing about going out there, though, is you can pick up the other ones that uh, you'll need for the next few levels and never have to go back out there again, or at least for a while. <clears throat> All right, maybe this one is dangerous. Okay, I'm going to my dagger because I've maxed out two hand blunt now. Dang, we are 15! New pet, new spells, a range pulling dot, awesome. All right, I will see you in a moment. I'm heading to POK. Real quick mention here, accident Pluto Caverns, if you look up, <laughs> it's the Earth, because we're on the moon. It's Luckland. Ain't that awesome? <laughs> All right. All right, got my new spells. I was wrong about sick and I had to run the other little beast lord out to get it in Everfrost. <clears throat> all right, now when you get ready to put weapons and all the good old stuff on your beast lord pet, I tried to get it free from a mage, but there doesn't seem to be anybody available right now other than um, Akison was able to give me a mask. That's as high as he was able to do it. This is the mask right here. Uh, Summon Muzzle of Mardu, 11% haste that you give to your pet. <clears throat> and right now, the only other trader, this looks like my ex, big ugly ogre behind bank one. <laughs> she has um, the pet weapons. Let me see if she's got any fist. Okay, there's the belt. The belt is 500 hit points, 15 strength, stamina, agility, dex when you give that to your pet. Five plat. And yeah, here you go, the fist are delay speed 20, base damage 10, fire damage 3, wrath of fire, procs at level 10, so the first beast lord pet that can use it is a level 15 pet. Uh, hit points 220 proc. <clears throat> so I'm going to buy two of those. I'm not sure if he dual wheels at 15 or not, but put them on him just in case. But the way you want to do this, let me summon the pet. That's my new 15 level pet. Another gecko. Well, the first, oh, see, he's yelling to me. Nice. Always hand the belt first. Give them the belt and then wait, and you'll see their hit points jump. Higher up, it'll take a few seconds, and then shoo, see how his hit points drop real low right there? That means the belt took effect. Then give him his mask. And then give him the fist. Now this little booger is going to be procking left and right. Destroying stuff. And then there's the, the spirit of lightning buff that I give him. Fills your water with the spirit of lightning. Increasing their dexterity as well as providing uh, them a chance to perform a lightning attack. Later on, these buffs will do stuff like lower threat, or there's one, Storms, I think, that raises threat by 200. That's the one you want if you're actually using your pet to tank or helping pull things off of you. All right. Well, now, 
We have our beefy boy, our new 15 level pet. He's got his fist. <clears throat> He's got his proc. And on the next episode, we, I guess, we'll go back either to Paluto or somewhere else. And try to make it to at least 17 so we can get dual wield. What's that door doing open? Shut door. Alright. Until next time.